Hey guys, it's me JSHDIY and welcome back to my channel for another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some slimes without glue or borax at home in minutes. So if you guys would like to learn how to make some slimes without glue or borax at home, all you have to do is just keep on watching. Today's notification squad shoutouts go to Mariah Isabel. Pan, Nandu Spakes in Vlogs, and also Miracular. Up on the screen, I am announcing my last giveaway winner, and they are Janine Winder. So congratulations to Janine Winder. If you didn't win this last giveaway, don't be sad though. If you guys can get this video to 50,000 likes by any time, I'm going to be doing more giveaways for you guys. So I'm going to put those together, but all you guys have to do is just like this video. First slime recipe we're going to be testing out today is a dish soap slime recipe. For this, I'm going to be using Dawn dish soap as well as this orange Ajax dish soap. And we are going to be doing a half and half ombre slime. So we are going to be first putting these two into a large container. We preferably need a large container because we want to have an airtight container so that nothing gets into our slime like dust and things like that. But we want to be able to let it dry out. So we can use a large container. That way it can still be exposed to air and dry out without us getting particles that we do not want into our I slime. added some food coloring into the orange half to make it a little bit more like watermelon colored. Initially, I was going for like a pink and green type of color, but it ended up being kind of red. And then I mixed the salt, which was my activator, in to activate both sides of the dish soap. As you guys can see, the Dawn dish soap was a little bit thicker, but then it started to get to be the Ajax slime that was thicker. And I tried not to mix the two sides together, but this was not the most perfect mixing, I will say. But I just mixed both sides with my hands until it was well activated. And then I popped on the lid and I let this sit. So we will check on this once it is all clear and see how it is. So this dish soap slime surprisingly took a while to clear up, which I wouldn't have expected because oftentimes dish soap slimes are thinner, so they clear up faster. But this one took a while to clear up, and this is what it looked like after clearing up. I wasn't the biggest fan of the color mixed together. I was kind of hoping for a watermelony color, but it didn't look that great because of the orange red Ajax and how I added red food coloring in it. It made it like super dark and also because it had evaporated extra liquid, the colors were dark, but the texture was really good. It was super fun to poke and it was nice and thick and jiggly. The next time recipe we are going to be testing out is body wash plus hand sanitizer. So we are basically recipe. just mixing a large quantity of hand sanitizer with a little bit of body wash and then letting that sit until it is all dried out. And these hand sanitizer recipes have become rampantly popular recently because you can basically just take a hand sanitizer, add another ingredient to soften it up, and then just let all the water evaporate out of the hand sanitizer. And oftentimes you can be left with a putty-like slime that is super thick. Of course, you can do this as a one ingredient slime, but it doesn't work as well when you just add the hand sanitizer. And as you guys can see, I mixed the body wash into the hand sanitizer and it basically turned to water. So we are going to now be letting this sit and this can and take so we'll a long time. I let this sit for the hand sanitizer to evaporate for two weeks, which is part of the reason why it has taken me a while to make these videos. But as you guys can see, it was pretty runny. You take a normal straight up hand sanitizer and just let it sit out. After about two weeks, it should turn into slime, but it is going to be so thick and kind of putty-like that you have to add a little bit of water. So it was interesting because this time I obviously added in shampoo as well. So it definitely affected the texture a little bit. It did look more clear than normal, which is odd because the shampoo we used was a white shampoo, but unfortunately, this was a little bit sticky. As you guys can see, the slime is really thin, but this recipe does Let me work. know if you guys know how I can make this less sticky and better. Next DIY no glue slime we are going to be testing says that if you take foaming hand soap, hand sanitizer, and also aloe, it's supposed to make slime. So we're going to be seeing if this works. Starting off, I added in my foaming hand soap in my container, and then I added in a little bit of hand sanitizer, and I mixed all of that together. And the main ingredient that you need a lot of apparently is aloe and this is what it looked like there was kind of like some liquid at the bottom and then there was the foam and i honestly don't think this is going to work because the foam just seems too light to make slime but obviously we have hand sanitizer which is supposed to kind of dry out and we also have the aloe so i don't think this is going to work but we're going to put this in the fridge 
So after about two or three days, this is what it looked like, which was crazy because it was completely crystal clear and it was almost full to the brim with slime, which was kind of surprising because I thought it would have gotten a lot smaller, but there was aloe and hand sanitizer in there, which I think is why it did this. And it looked so cool because it was partially blue on the bottom because of the dye i used and then a little bit of green as well and this looked so cool For some reason the hand sanitizer aloe and foaming hand soap was a great combination and this worked so well the next slime recipe we're going to be testing out is this dish soap shampoo slime so for this i'm going to be using this gain ultra blueberry dish soap as well as this suave blue shampoo which is one of my very favorites for slime so starting off you are going to be going in with your suave shampoo or whatever shampoo you're using so i added in my suave shampoo into the bowl and as you guys can see it has this wonderful blue color so i just popped that into my bowl and i decided i was going to add the full bottle of course because i wanted to make a big batch of slime Just look at how gorgeous the color of the Suave Shampoo Slime is. That is why it is always my favorite. But next, you guys can see right here, we have the Blueberry Gain, which also has a really nice color. I have not used this yet, so I am so excited, but I am adding in this full container. So as you guys can see, it's kind of, I would say, like a one to three ratio between the dish soap and the Suave, the dish soap being the two and the Suave being the one. So like a one to two, I guess, ratio. And so that is that, I guess it's a three to one, but I added all my ingredients together. And then I also decided I wanted to add some glitter because I don't ever make blue glitter slimes, let alone glitter slimes very often anyways. So I added in this super basic white glitter into the bowl of the soaps and I mixed that all together along with my salt, which is to activate the soaps together. Now we are going to be letting this sit to clear up and also- So I have let this sit for, I think, well over a week, if not two weeks, and I am just kind of getting stuck on it, not clear it up. And so I've decided that we're just going to play with it now and see how it turned out. But as you guys can see, a lot of surface bubbles has risen to the top. And I just think it's because it's a mix between dish soap and shampoo, which dish soap is more water-based than shampoo. So it just caused a lot of bubbles, but it congealed really well. And it had activated both the shampoo and the dish soap really well. And it was very, very thick, which I was happy about but it just wasn't very clear. And I think this one is going to take a long time before it can be crystal clear, but this slime did turn out very well. And I will be quiet for a little bit just so that you guys can enjoy any slime sounds that it has. The next no-glue slime recipe we are going to be testing out is body wash dish soap slime. This has been very requested by you guys, so I am going to be testing it out today. Today, I'm going to be using the Up and Up Clearing Up body wash. It has the little gel beads, which have very mixed opinions from you guys about whether or not they do anything or if they can disrupt your salt slimes. But I am just going to be going in with this full bottle because I bought it for the exact purpose of testing out this body wash dish soap slime recipe. And then right here, I have this orange Ajax dish soap that we used earlier. And I am going to be adding in one spoon of the dish soap, which is exactly what we are supposed to do. So I'm just adding in one spoon into our body wash and then I am going to mix those two together. As you guys can see, the colors do kind of go well together to make a nice peachy color. And then next, I'm going to be taking some table salt, which I am only going to be using a very little bit because a little salt goes a long way, especially with a body wash slime. And I already had a really good 
expectation that this is going to completely work because the body wash is so thick and already very slime like so i just added my little sprinkle of salt in and i'm mixing everything together it smells kind of peachy and also a little bit orangey and citrusy too because of the ajax dish soap but as you guys can see i have just folded everything together and folding is a good method for making these types of slimes because you can combine the two types of soap and the salt without adding too many air bubbles to it and then lastly, I just put the airtight lid on top, which as you guys can see, still has the IKEA label that I need to peel on time. So it is currently two days exactly later since I made this slime, so it hasn't been sitting for a super long time, but I thought we should check it I out. I haven't made a slime with body wash in a long time, but the body wash I used was extremely thick, and we also added salt, so I figured it would activate, but as you guys can this see, this is melted, and also, you guys can kind of tell, it's a little bit more orange than it originally was. The body wash kind of a peachy pink color, and so I think what messed this slime up was the Ajax dish soap. Next one we're testing says that if you take a paint pen sharpie white sharpie thing and also lip balm it's supposed to make slime when mixed together so starting off we are supposed to put lip balm on a surface and pile it on thick and then take a sharpie specifically a white paint sharpie and we're supposed to just scribble all around on the lip balm for a long time until it all dries up into a clump and so i started doing this with the white sharpie and sure enough it was turning the lip balm into slime as i was kind of drawing and letting the paint dry it was kind of clumping into a ball so i thought it was kind of looking like slime and when i felt it it did feel like a little piece of slime so this recipe completely worked and was a success Thank you guys so so much for watching this video i had a great time hanging out with you guys and if you did too and you are new to my channel make sure you're subscribed and give this video a like if you guys are on og and enjoy this video i love you guys so much and i will see you guys up on one of the videos on the screen bye guys see you over there